Me have to represent from a school The University of the West Indies Give me immense pleasure to extend a warm Caribbean welcome to you as we celebrate World Quality Week 2021 at the UWI. World Quality Week is celebrated annually on the second Thursday in November each year. This year, for the first time, the celebrations are being held over the course of a week instead of a single day. The theme for this year's celebration is sustainability, improving our products, people, and the planet. This team asks us to focus and showcase the role that quality can and should play in institutional sustainability and its environmental, social, and governance, the ESG impact. This year's team could not be more appropriate as the Earth's climate crisis is in sharp focus with the hosting of COP26 in November as well. COP26 represents the 26th gathering of nations for a summit on the global climate under the auspices of the United Nations. Globally, the past six years have been the hottest on record, and temperatures in 2020 exceeded the 1850 to 1900 average by 1.25 degrees Celsius. The Living Planet Index which tracks the abundance of mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians on the planet, show that between 1970 and 2016, the population of species fell globally by 68% on average. The 2018 Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, where our own UWI plays a major role, highlights the grave risk to human life as we know it if global warming were to exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius. The 2018 IPCC report suggests that global warming of 2 degrees Celsius instead of 1.5 degrees would essentially wipe out all coral reefs on the planet and expose 37% of the world's population to extreme heat events at least once every five years. The August 2021 report of the IPCC warns that pollution caused by humans has led to an increase in extreme events such as heat waves, droughts, and tropical cyclones. Greenhouse gas emissions, which are at the heart of the problem, are already 50% above their pre-industrial levels. The 2021 report essentially documents the rapid acceleration of climate change, which dramatically lowers the window for limiting global warming from 2 degrees Celsius to 1.5 degrees Celsius, and underscores the imperative for the world to reach net zero emissions by the year 2050. The implication is that the damage from climate change is becoming less gradual and unless we take unprecedented and urgent actions, the Earth could suddenly reach a point of irreversible climate damage, or climate change, if you, so to speak. Life as we know it in countries where a large percentage of the population and economic activity is in close proximity to the coast, to coastline, and for that we can read the UWI member countries, Life will be severely challenged if global warming cannot be contained to less than 1.5 degrees Celsius. Hence the phrase 1.5 to stay alive. The Earth's climate crisis is clearly accelerating and brings to mind Ernest Hemingway's famous novel, The Sun Also Rises. In that novel, the main character is asked how he went bankrupt. He answers in two ways, gradually and then suddenly. Are we approaching that point of dramatic, sudden, irreversible climate change? It is therefore urgent that institutions like UWI not only build awareness of this climate crisis, but also become catalysts for action if we are to avert this catastrophe.
the Chartered Quality Institute, under whose leadership World Quality Week is held, states that ESG factors should be prioritized by organizations. They should influence decision-making and interaction with key stakeholders. The quality policy of the UWI, which is based on the Deming Cycle Plan, Do, Check, Act, is focused, like the team of Quality Week, on the improvement of our products and services to our internal and external stakeholders. Furthermore, across the UWI campuses, there have been many attempts to introduce more planet sustainable practices and policies. These include, amongst others, recycling, the Smart Campus Initiative at the KFL campus, and the use of photovoltaic resources. However, in light of the accelerating climate crisis, we need to refocus our efforts on sustainability in every aspect of our operations. Therefore, we welcome this opportunity of Quality Week to rethink, revision, reimagine, reconceptualize our approach to resilience, sustainability, and ESG. This reconceptualization will be achieved through university-wide discussions, fora, and on how as campuses and as an entity we can become more sustainable and resilient. It is envisaged that this reconceptualization will result in concrete action plans for a more sustainable and resilient UWI. A sustainable response to the global climate crisis requires fundamental changes in transportation, the way we generate energy, the way we cultivate food. In essence, fundamental changes in the way we live. Ensuring that our demands on nature do not exceed its supply will be a major challenge for humanity. For example, the share of renewables in power generation must move from about 25% today to almost 100% by 2050. Unabated coal must be phased out six times faster than it is being done today. Buildings must be made more energy efficient at three times the rate of today's initiatives. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown our capacity for rapid, unprecedented and dramatic technological innovation, governmental action and changes in the way we live in response to a crisis. In terms of the climate crisis, we must develop this same sense of urgency and take the required actions now. Happy World Quality Week to all. Together, we can make our university, the University of the West Indies, a flagship institution that is rooted in the Caribbean, a beacon of light leading the way to a more sustainable and resilient future. Thank you. West Indies. Na 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 na